Kaiju, Turtles, Dragon Ball, and more. It's Steven Story Reviews. Hey there, collectors. It's going to be Steven here, and I am very pleased to bring you a review today of the apex of Godzilla vinyl collecting, the epitome of Sofubi kaiju figures. Today, we have what I believe to be one of the best on the market now, Mondo's Space Godzilla. The two we're going to be looking at today are going to be the trendy variant, which we all know what that's a reference to. The other one is going to be formally named the Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla variant. I'm going to just go ahead and call that the movie variant. There also exists a Sakura or Cherry Blossom variant, which I don't have, but I did get to see in person. With that being said, these all of them had an order window, which did close relatively quick, and MSRP, not including shipping, was $150. The only issue now, however, is that considering they have hit the market, there are some collectors that have purchased them for the purpose of reselling, removing them from the market, and having the chance removed from other collectors to resell them. And now they go for north of $400 on sites like eBay. So if you are thinking of picking one of these up, well, you're going to have to drop a pretty penny, or you're going to have to be on the lookout for when Mondo does another repaint. So let's take a look to see whether or not Space Godzilla is worth adding to your collection. The answer is yes, but let's keep this in mind. We've already transitioned over to the 360 spin view. And I'm going to have to say, I mean, realistically speaking, I'm, what, what can I say is a fault for the movie version of Space Godzilla here? It looks amazing. One area I've noticed with Space Godzilla merch, which is meant to be movie accurate, if you will, for some reason, is the paint schemes do tend to lean into a darker, almost purple coloration for Space Godzilla. However, Space Godzilla is not quite that purple uh, when we look at the movie stills and so forth. As a matter of fact, going to another brand for the SH Monster Arts, the original prototype, uh, it was not quite that purple as well. But nevertheless, when we take a look at this figure here for what they were doing, the figure looks amazing. There is such a nice metallic sheen that comes off of this figure, and it just looks stunning. There is a pearlescent paint application for all of the crystal-like features of Space Godzilla, whether it's the dorsal plates or the tail tip. The teeth look amazing. The yellow and the orange for the horns and the little fangs or whatever you want to call them on the side of his head look great. One area that some folks have noted that could possibly be better is going to be the dry brushing that is going to be on the torso of Space Godzilla. It doesn't look all that great to them, but nevertheless, he looks good. Mine, unfortunately, has one small quality control issue on one of the shoulder crystals where it has a little nick, which is a shame. But nevertheless, I do think that this is a beautiful specimen, and quite frankly, I think it is almost as equally as beautiful. I do prefer this one just a hair bit more because of how well this thing reflects light to the trendy variant, which I thought I would like more in person. But once I had these both in hand, it's like the movie version is getting an A plus at 98% and then 97% is the trendy variant. So it's it's just neck and neck like that. The trendy variant is really, really good. Maybe they could have toned down the glossy and the shininess just a little bit. But nevertheless, this one is equally as amazing as well. You can definitely see that everything here is really, really good. I do think that the shading on the dorsal plates, the crystals on his back, that does look a little extreme, if you will, going from just the faded shading immediately to the full on white on the crystals. And unfortunately, because of my review setup, it may be difficult to actually see the pure white that is there for this Space Godzilla's crystals, probably for the movie version as well. But nevertheless, I think it is easy, easy to see here that the sculpted details are they're breathtaking and the paint application is fantastic. I can't even get into all of the finer details, which is kind of why I'm rambling here. If you're able to see the pictures here, I can't even do this thing justice. It's it's awesome. It doesn't matter which paint variant you get. I'm only going to be able to show you the stock photos and maybe even the 360 spin view that Mondo has for promotional materials for their Sakura version. 
all of their Space Godzillas look fantastic. The only objective drawback here is going to be the articulation. What do you mean? It's a Safubi figure. Let me talk. So the arms are on swivels where they plug into the shoulders, and then there are going to be thigh swivels. The tail actually has a swivel up at the point where it curves. On my trendy variant, it was easy to twist and turn, but when it came to the movie variant, it was actually stuck in place with paint. Now, with that being said, all of the joints for both of my Space Godzillas were stuck as well. And somebody who doesn't have the knowledge how to work joints, use heat to loosen things up, or crack stuff free, if they were to get their hands on one of these very expensive masterpieces of soft vinyl figures, uh, well, that can result in torn vinyl, which is almost what happened to my movie variant. But nevertheless, it's not an action figure, so eh, take it or leave it. We're at the size comparison section now, so you can see how big this thing is. I would have appreciated just a little bit of a smaller size because he's not really going to be in scale, but I mean, LOL scale, right? <laughs> when it comes to these sorts of things. But nevertheless, I, I, he's big. He's intimidating. Buy now, skip or wait for a deal. I mean, uh, this thing immediately gets a seal of approval. Whatever repaints they come out with next, I'm probably going to skip on unless they do something green. Mondo, please do not. But uh, yes, these are all worth the purchase and they're all great. I will even go as so far as to say that any sort of issue that anyone has had with their previous releases, they've been looked at and they've been addressed here. When it came to Pulgasari, Godzilla 84, and Hidora, they were more so hard vinyl and people critiqued them for being soft vinyl. That was corrected here. This is 100% soft vinyl. Some folks are upset that these aren't made in Japan, but nevertheless, this is an American company and they're putting their own spin on this. So kudos to everyone credited or otherwise on the box for making Space Godzilla and the different paint variations happen. The only legitimate critique that I have is going to go directly to Mondo and Funko since they bought Mondo. The box is basically in a very form-fitting brown outer box and it is shipped with only some plastic corners on it. Why? Package these better. <laughs> Someone's going to get a broken vinyl figure at some point, and it's going to be a disheartening issue. These are great figures. Let's not break them. Hey, collectors, that's going to wrap up the video today. And as always, thanks for watching, commenting, sharing, subbing. It all helps. I always enjoy responding to comments, so be sure to drop one down below and I will respond if I can. I do have supporters on Patreon as well, and each review gets an end card to show who is supporting each month. So here are the end cards. Camera batteries, SD cards, even hard drives. It's not possible without that support. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Here's the final end card so this way you can click subscribe, check out another video, or even check out the social media outlets. You know you want to. Before we end today, as in the description, there may be paid ad space, affiliate links, or product samples that were sent out in this video, so please check out the STR ad disclosure. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.